Hi everyone. Is it possible two different personality in one body? Yes, that is what we call it as a dual personality. So what is dual personality is that uh someone who shows different behavior, different attitude, different emotions for different people for different situations. For example, you have friend who is very reserved and introverted when that friend is in a particular group he is very outward uh, extrovert and loud that means is he is changing his behavior depends on the uh, situation uh, for example again you have someone who is very kind and friendly uh and when that person is dealing with some stress or uh, anxiety or emotional imbalance that person will be behaving uh, angry or irritated so this is how is actually they will be changing their behavior depends on the situation or circumstances right so you can see this all uh, things in the handwriting uh, you have uh, in handwriting that is uh, uh, in handwriting you can see uh, is this a person is a dual personality or a stable mentality or a stable emotion so it is a very great tool is a graphology is a very great tool you can see uh, in handwriting whether the person is having a dual personality or not right so so um, let's see how it, uh, we can actually uh, predict this as a dual personality in handwriting this is the this is uh, in uh, this is a handwriting who is writing the slants going from left to right uh, and in one sentence the in one sentence their alphabets is going from left to right so that is what is a variation from left to right in same sentence uh if someone is writing like this so you can predict this person is facing with dual personality so dual personality has some traits is like uh, uh, they will they have multiple personality is like sometime extrovert sometimes introvert depending again the situations so uh, that person is trouble making the decision because their head and heart is in conflict they are not in a alliance so that is the reason they are facing uh, to make the decisions and other is like they are introverted personalities when they feel insecure if they feel insecure they will be converting themselves into their introverted personality it has you, this person is having unpredictable mood swings because of the emotions they are not stable for stable at emotions that is why the mood swing happens next is this is a sample wherein which again their uh, uh, alphabet is going sometimes left sometimes right and next is a dual personality the strokes is a dual slants the uh, strokes in the sense how the alphabet is going that is what is a slants you can see location so what is uh, i will explaining what is upper zone lower zone so these are the three zones uh, this zone you call it as a upper zone this call it as a middle zone and this call it as a lower zone so um, uh, where you can see uh, or you can say measure is in a, uh, by using upper zone suppose i am writing h so if i want to measure so i can measure by dotted that means it is a straight um if i am writing h like this so if i want to measure that means it is going to the leftward direction so that is the reason the location is in upper zone that means you have for measurement you check upper zone right uh, so that you can come to know the slants where it is actually going uh, the focus letter is all that means you have to it is not a particular letter you want to stress to see or uh, the dual personality you have to see all the letters for measurements you can see the upper zone letters and the traits is like again the mood swings unpredictable mood swings head and heart is not in conflict so that is where the decision making is not capable for that person uh, the comment is like again the variations in left to right stir sentences so this is all about the dual personalities uh, handwriting you can see uh, the per handwriting 
uh, as a dual personality suppose um, the challenges which this dual personality faces is like uh, they are not able to maintain the relationships uh, because of the uh, fluctuations of their uh, emotions if you are already in a relationship with this dual personality so you have to approach them with empathy compassion open communication and you must have very patience um the factors which uh, uh, contributes to develop your dual personality is that uh, the childhood trauma uh, is like the child uh, in childhood they have uh, when some traumas like abuse neglectance from family friends so that arises this factors which develops the dual personality the other factors is like stress anxiety depression is the factors which develops the uh, dual personality and uh, next is that uh, no, the graphologist suggests that people with did the did is some of the mental uh, health condition uh, it is extreme case of dual personality uh, the did's full form is dissociative identity disorder wherein we there extreme fluctuation happens uh, if it is then their uh, slants may vary uh drastically the size can be large small very large and the pressure they will be writing in a light pressure or sometimes in a very uh, dark or uh, that is what is a pressure says and the speed so this all are the uh, you can say uh, different identities that exhibits different handwriting styles so it may it may show that lack of inconsistency in handwriting so if you see lack of inconsistency in handwriting in extreme way so you uh, you can just um, uh analyze that it is of uh, did that is mental disorder you can approach some therapist or some medications so that is from my side uh, you uh, you can follow me for in uh, for social medias like instagram youtube and visit my website uh if you got some insight about the dual personality which is uh, where in which i have i have added value to your life so please like share and comment